we heard LeBron call himself the greatest player of all time on that More Than an Athlete broadcast. He was talking about how he felt after the 2016 championship. Well, Danny Ainge not only disagrees, he strongly disagrees. Here's what he said about LeBron and a local sports radio show in Boston. Quote, his career's not over. I'd just like to know why he's saying that. I don't know. Maybe he thinks that sells. Maybe he's taking the Donald Trump approach and trying to sell himself. I don't know. I mean, that's a interesting comparison considering the history between LeBron and our current president. Yeah, um, I thought this, these remarks by Dan Ainge were incredibly, incredibly irresponsible. First of all, he has a history of throwing unsolicited shots at LeBron, right? So if you remember six years ago when uh, Pat Riley put out this, the official oh, team right. statement telling Danny Ainge to go bleep himself, right. basically, uh, that was because Danny Ainge said this on a radio, local radio hit in Boston right. about LeBron complaining about officiating in a game that did not involve Boston. It right. was a Bulls Heat game. So again, fast forward to again, this doesn't involve the Celtics. This doesn't involve Larry Bird right. or one of his teammates. <laughs> doesn't involve anybody he knows, right? He's coming in and throwing it, and guess what? Look, whether you like or, or don't like the comparison, it's all good as far as LeBron and Michael Jordan. But when you bring the president's name into this, and you know at best it's a very polarizing figure, at worst it's someone that this person specifically right. has a problem with. We're not talking about LeBron has a problem politically with the president. We're talking about there's a personal dis issue between dislike the two between yes. the two. He knows what he's doing there, and that ain't right. And and it's 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 there's no comparison really because you're talking about one person maybe talking themselves up in LeBron's case, but he's not out of question. We're not saying that, oh no way it could be maybe maybe we agree maybe we don't agree, versus someone who at be uh, look is known for bloviating and saying blustery things that are way out of proportion that his defenders will say that's him getting caught up in the emotion and his detractors will say this is him telling untruths. But either way, these are not the same thing. And for him to make that comparison, he could have said everything he said and not brought up that name. But he, he decided to throw that name in there and I thought that was just despicable. Wow. <laughs> follow that, Scotty Pippen. That's a tough one to follow. I mean, that's, uh, that's Danny Ainge's opinion right. and you know we all have our opinion but my problem is more so with LeBron if if you are the greatest player if people are saying you are the greatest player or if people are saying Michael Jordan is the greatest player why do you need to say it right Michael Jordan has never ever said he's the greatest player to ever play the game why He's respected all the other players before him. So for LeBron to say that, he's sort of pulling himself out of it because you can't say you're the greatest player. You have to allow your peers in the world to say that. So the context of when he said it, just because, you know, if we're having this discussion, he was talking, sitting around with his friends, and he was saying that when he won that 2016 title, he said his first thought was Cleveland, wow, we've done this first time in 52 years. And he said my second thought as I was, you know, running around the court being crazy was, wow, I did it. This is what makes me the greatest player of all time. You can disagree with him. I get it. And you can disagree with him saying that. And by the way, that conversation was for a documentary that was supposed to appear on ESPN Plus. So he knew cameras were rolling. It's not like they caught him in a moment. Well, I, so I to think your it's, point, he I should think maybe, you don't pretty think he just great that a guy won three titles, mm -hmm. left for two years, came back and won three more. That is considered greatness to me. Yeah. Winning ultimately decides who the greatest players are in the game. There you go. My another man in front of another man in front of cameras saying what he thinks. Believe that.